busy on Instagram liking pictures You need to stop playing and come and visit I need your location inside the DM Your friends in the back, they like go and see her I seen her, I swear she was looking mixy I think she was Cuban and Puerto Rican Welcome back to my channel In this video, it was just really a random video um, I'm kind of bored, so Yeah, I guess it's a get ready with me Even though I'm not really going anywhere I just need to look a little bit human A little bit more human and replenish because with this whole hurricane situation going on i've been sitting in the house most of the week so that's it all right um i use whatever moisturizer you need and i just use tea tree oil mix it in make your skin all nice and soft except if you have naturally oily skin i don't recommend this at all two drops is all you need <laughs> but yeah um I really want to discuss this whole to be and um that have really been trending as far as celebrities um and basically saying that these two people are like the perfect boyfriend or like really good guys or something like that I don't know but they are in the in the industry which is people keep comparing Sean Mendez and Noah Centineo which they are good people. Don't get me wrong, just by watching them. But, and they're both cute. But I don't think they will be perfect boyfriends per se. Yes, they're different from a lot of boys that we are used to or see right now. So I'll give that to them. But as far as perfect, there's no such thing. And plus one is an actor and another one is a artist so they're basically from two different categories of fame but who cares about my opinion I'm just a regular person but yeah otherwise than that i don't know why everybody keeps comparing them or making them seem like they're perfect boyfriends or something like that even though i love both of them they're great at what they do so uh my plans as far as um as far as what I'm doing with YouTube and my life outside of YouTube um I just graduated from high school and whatnot which is one of my biggest uh, one of my biggest accomplishments in life yeah and yeah, so now, just moving forward from here. Um, I haven't started college yet, which I won't start until the fall. I think I'm going to do some eyeliner today, because I haven't did eyeliner in a long time, y'all. Like, ever since I started getting my last doing school until the springtime and the summertime. So, oh snap. focusing on YouTube, of course, and traveling. So I can have some fun experiences before I, um, you know, go back to school. And then also I'm working a nine to five job, which sucks because when you want success in life and you like, you basically crave it and you work in something like something that's like basically this minimum wage and you're just like, but key so i'm just being patient for now and you know all that does patience is key so i'm trying to be patient so yeah it's kind of nerve-wracking especially if it's something that you're not passionate about <laughs> like making pieces is passionate okay Unless, like, you know, you have your own restaurant, you know, it's your business, that's different. But working for somebody else is a no-go. So, yeah. I, that's my life right now. Which is alright for now, sis. Alright for now. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, like, I literally, I literally have been upload like a few videos back to back which i've been having fun doing it's just that you know 
something gotta give Put it on ice like when I first started doing makeup I was like 11 and I would like go steal my mom's um mascara that's how I started I started st <laughs> taking my mom's mascara from her like especially if, only if it was like an old mascara I would take it from her because so she wouldn't really notice and then um I would wear mascara to school and I would like secretly wear it but I would only put it on when I got on the bus and then I would go to school and all the girls would be like oh my gosh your eyelashes are so long how'd you get them like that and I was like, oh, they're just natural. No, I didn't. Okay, well, I was lying. They were, like, natural, but, you know, mascara. So, yeah, and then, like, at that time in middle school, no one really wore, no, well, yeah, no one wore makeup like that, seriously. But, yeah. Um, and one day, uh, I came home. And I brought the mascara out, and my mama was in my room. And when I tell you, when I found that she was in my room, y'all don't know how fast I ran up those stairs, bro. Like, when I say I ran up those stairs so fast, I came in here, grabbed that mascara, went outside, and threw it in the trash. It's like, my sis was mad. <laughs> I was pissed. Why a lot of beauty gurus don't like to do their makeup on cam? I mean, their brows on camera. It's probably because they can't really do them well when they're on when it's on camera. I'm not sure. I can't make excuses for them, but that's what I would think. Um. Otherwise than that, I could do them pretty well. Okay, once I have a small mirror, that's all that matters to me. But yeah. I used to think that um, once you started YouTube channel, like, like once you were like too busy, like you were starting to get too busy, and you you basically lose focus and stop watching other YouTubers. That's not true. I still watch a lot of YouTubers that I used to watch. Um, on YouTube, my skin is like drier here right now. Yeah, it's dry. And yeah, so I used to watch the YouTubers all the time when I was like 14 and stuff and I always wanted to have a YouTube channel, but like I never came around to do it, to be honest. And I was basically, basically lazy. And then I always, I had an iPhone. So if I would have known then that you could use your phone to do all that stuff, trust me, your girl would have done it. Oh yeah, your girl would have done it. Um, but now I'm glad I also started now because like I have a lot more potential and I understand this whole YouTube thing a lot more probably than I did when it actually first came like started. So yeah. Yeah, and then like the internet is such a popping thing right now. It is. It really is. That's great. It's amazing. Oh, I also have like a confession to make. Okay, so it's not really a confession, but like you guys. My friends think I'm obsessed with Shawn Mendes. But like, you know how people use obsessed in the wrong way, wrong context? Okay. Yeah. Um. It's not like I'm like insanely like I stalk his every move. That's just weird. That's, that's really weird and it's disturbing. I just enjoy him as an artist and his intellectual way of thinking. And he's very intelligent and very smart. And he's just good looking. That's it. That's it.
that's it i promise but otherwise than that i'm just a normal sun in this band i don't have a freaking fan page of him or none of that that's just weird so yeah hey have y'all ever <laughs> have y'all ever watched that ellen degeneres Ellen DeGeneres episode when Shaman is on there and that girl started freaking out when she saw him and she was like oh my god I'm your biggest fan I am the biggest fan in the world yeah probably ever really? yeah all, yeah. all the time yes <laughs> ever I was cool. we all know you were lying sis obviously yep she was lying but yeah otherwise now I'm just not like a crazy deranged fan that like stalks people because that's so bad. Hey. Oh, just poke myself. Um, yeah, that's like so bad. What the heck is going on here? Okay, but yeah, that's so bad. I would never, I could never. Who has the money to even do that? To even stalk people like that, that's crazy. Also, there's this dude on Twitter that I, on Twitter, and he met Sean Mendes, and, and all these people started commenting like, "Oh my God, you followed him everywhere, you stalked him, blah blah blah." I'm like, "Geez, to do this." And then just imagine how long it would take me to do my makeup if I was doing actual freaking, you know, um, freaking <laughs> eyeshadow. But I'm not. Okay, so I wipe my brush and I'm just gonna. You nasty. So great. You know, guys, I, even though, like, times have changed and females are starting to get more open with themselves um and expressing themselves and rights for women and everything and being able to like show their boobs without freaking people out and things like that i still find it unladylike to you know to belt out loud so even though like we are fighting for women's rights and for women to be free with their sexuality, I think certain things we should still keep at a minimum. Cause belching out loud as a female, especially out in public, is freaking gross. So yeah, I think certain things we should still keep intact, even if we are still fighting for women's rights. And that Serena, well, that whole situation with Serena Williams and that referee, that was not fair, clearly. And I can't believe he thought she cheated. And she came this far in her career to cheat. <laughs> Very stupid. But yeah. She's another strong black woman that I admire. And yeah. Okay, so now I just basically fill in the front with more. What should we call it? And you get it to a natural feathering in the front. So yeah. I got my highlight here. Um, yeah, comment down your opinion on women's rights or if you agree with what I said. Okay, hi guys, back. I promise. For good this time, at least I think so. So now I'm just gonna go in and blend everything. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. So, yeah. Like guys, I told you about my week since Hurricane Florence has been here. I literally have been in the house. So, I'm kind of bored, so I'm just finding things to do right now. So, yeah. I guess basically this is almost like a get ready with me. So, I'm just, you know, not going anywhere. Because this week, my life has not been interesting. And, yeah. And I basically feel like I don't have a job anymore because we have not been opening. And my paycheck is gonna look like. Well, 
What is your favorite feature? Into lipsticks and I was gonna cholo because I'm gonna waste it. I mean, invested her money into it. And of course, I didn't have any money. This, these freaking hairs hair boy like they will never stay it's so aggravating they're so aggravating but they're like so cute <laughs> so yeah you guys like i been wanting to go to concerts all summer but like i just never made my way to go to one and plus where i live no celebrity comes here like at all and that sucks so bad. I literally have to travel to the next city if I want to see a bomb concert. But who has the money for that? Not me. Because I'm a broke bitch. So yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of finished. This is what I do every day now what i used to do like in high school or i used to get up and do my freaking eyeshadows and everything every day and then i realized what's the point so cute don't forget to like comment and if you're new subscribe and yeah i'll see you later bye she see money all around me Look like I'm the man Yeah, but I was down and out like last week